Hi there! Today, we'll guide you through the process of performing Z-axis calibration on the Sonic Mega 8 KV2. Before we begin, please note that all Sonic Mega 8 KV2 printers are pre-calibrated at the factory. This tutorial is only for cases where recalibration is needed. Prepare the following items. A 4 mm hex key, a 2.5 mm hex key, 95% alcohol, paper towels, a lint-free cloth, and two sheets of A4 paper. Start by removing the resin vat. Remove the build plate. Clean the LCD panel using 95% alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Clean off any resin residue using 95% alcohol and a paper towel. Be sure to clean any resin residue off the screws as well. After cleaning, set the build plate on a clean, flat surface. Use the 2.5mm hex key to loosen the screws on the handles and then remove them. Use the 4mm hex key to remove the four cap screws on the build plate. Note that loosening the screws too much could cause the plate to fall off. Use the 2.5mm hex key to loosen the four set screws on the plate. Loosen the screws until they are no longer visible through the gap. Gently lift the upper part of the plate and then place it back down. Ensure that the top and bottom parts of the plate are aligned with no gaps in between. Once that's done, you're ready to begin the Z-axis calibration. Place the build plate back onto the T-plate and tighten the two thumb screws. Place two sheets of A4 paper, one on the left and one on the right of the LCD. Make sure the papers do not overlap to ensure accurate calibration. Once again, ensure that the resin vat is removed, the screws on the plate are loosened, and the papers are properly set in place. Find Control in the Tools menu and tap Start. Wait for the plate to descend and make contact with the LCD. Use one hand to press down on the center of the plate and stabilize it. Use the longer side of the 2.5 mm hex key to tighten the four set screws diagonally just until they gently touch the surface underneath. Note, over tightening the set screws may result in inaccurate calibration. Next, perform the first friction test. Tug on the paper at the four corners of the LCD and ensure the friction is consistent and even. If you find the paper too loose, too tight, or unequal in friction, loosen the set screws and tighten them diagonally again until the frictions are the same. Maintain the same pressure at the center of the plate, then use the 4 mm hex key to tighten the four cap screws diagonally. Next, perform the second friction test and ensure the friction is the same as during the first test. If the friction differs from the first test, loosen the cap screws and tighten them diagonally again until the friction is consistent with the first test. Finally, reinstall the handles onto the plate using the 2.5 mm hex key. After ensuring all screws are properly tightened, use the touch panel interface to raise the plate to the top of the Z-axis. And now you've completed the Sonic Mega 8 K V2 Z-axis calibration after removing the papers. Hope you find this video helpful, and be sure to let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on notification for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye.